Hi, I'm Phil. Welcome to Holy Habitus. And today we're back on the topic of discipling new believers and David Pawson's idea of the four spiritual doors that we as disciples encourage them through. The first, as we looked at last time, was repent of your sins towards God, repentance. And today, through the blue door, very exciting, it is believe in the Lord Jesus. Repent and believe. Now, these two, if you think about it, are two sides of the same coin, two modes of the same movement towards God. Repentance expresses the negative, the stepping away from the old life, a dying to your sins. Believing in the Lord Jesus is a positive expression, moving forward, stepping into the new life that Jesus gives. When Jesus erupts onto his public ministry following his baptism and time in the wilderness, according to Mark, um, his message, the first words off his lips are, the time has come, the kingdom of God is here, repent and believe the good news. In other words, that's the human response to the breaking in of the kingdom is to repent and to believe. So how do we help people to believe? In one sense, that's the work of the Holy Spirit, nothing to do with us. But again, God in his infinite wisdom chooses to involve weak uh, vessels like you and myself to come alongside and to help. Now, there might be an explaining function that we can play, um, explaining who Jesus is, who Jesus has been to us, explaining the good news, explaining the Bible. It, there might be an apologetic function, perhaps helping them, them if they're wrestling with some uh, difficult questions. Um, for example, why does a good God allow suffering? Or uh, why is there divinely sanctioned violence in the Old Testament? And, and those kinds of things which can hold people back from believing. And, and so we could perhaps come alongside and help them with that. There's a modelling function as well that we're called to live, be living the authentic Christian life as an example for them. Paul says, imitate me as I imitate Christ. So we need to be making sure we're living the Christian life ourselves so that we can help them to step into that life for themselves and begin to believe and to put faith into action. One simple way of doing that is to start helping them to pray. John Ortberg has said to believe is to start to pray. Belief isn't just some abstract tick box exercise in our minds, I believe this doctrine. It's about living as though those doctrines are true, stepping out in faith. And so we want to teach them to start praying and to start praying in faith. And you might want to help them identify a specific circumstance in their life that will require faith and trust in God and looking for the answers, expecting in the words of David Pawson, not just that God can help, but that he will help. Now that requires faith on our parts as well as we step out in faith alongside them. And that's the great thing about discipling. It's actually also a faith building exercise for ourselves. So perhaps this week you might help somebody near you to start believing, to start putting faith into action.